Uh, the warehouse Shamar Growth. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a couple of um, tuition or instructional videos on squatting with the barbell. We've got two types of squats. Um, the one we're going to work on today is a low bar squat, which is used uh, most commonly in powerlifting. Um, I have uh, Alec here, who's a competitive powerlifter. He's uh, going to give me a little hand today uh, just to show you uh, the movements of the back squat, the, the positions you should be in and also the positions of the barbell um, as you're going through the movement. Um, to start off with, we'll show you where the bar should be. So this is called low bar for a reason. Alec, if you want to go in there. You can see um, he's got that tucked in quite low there. Um, right in by his shoulder blades there. Okay. Today he's going to take a walk out. The difference with a um, low bar back squat, he's got a reasonably uh, wide stance here. Alex's going to lead with his hips, so to start off he's going to kick back with his hips. On the way down from here, you can see the barbell is still in the mid-foot position at that point there. He's able to drive through with his hips on the way back up again. You do that again Alex. So kicking back with his hips to start off with. So barbell, if you were to draw a plumb line here, um, at the side you would see, if you come back a wee bit Kieran, you would see that the barbell is still in line with his midfoot position, he's able, then able to distribute the weight through his feet um, well, so he's going to um, exert a lot of uh, power and explosiveness on his drive back up, what you call out the hole. We'll do that again Alec. So kicking back with his hips, going down, once he's going to break parallel here, which means his hip joint below his knee joint, driving back up. And there, yeah, you can move that back just now. Alex. What you'll find, Alex, um, Alex's body type means that he's um, he's still able to keep a reasonably well upright position um, when he's squatting. But you've depending on your body type. You'll find that some people, when they're doing a low bar back squat, um, for for me, for instance, I've got quite a long, reasonably long torso, so I feel the need to for my torso to fall forward that wee bit more. The barbell is still the same. The barbell the proximity, the barbell is still the same. So, like I said, if you were to um, have a plumb line at the side, the bar's position in relation to my foot would be the same. Um, it would, the bar would still be in line with my uh, mid-foot position there. So that when I'm driving out the hole, um, the weight's evenly distributed through my foot, so I'm able to drive for a lot of force. Some people, um, if they're in the wrong position going down and the barbell is off, if the bar is too high, uh, too low, or their position is wrong as they're going down, that barbell position could be could be off, so they're maybe driving out the hole, and um, you can always see that in their feet when they're coming out. Maybe the heels come off the ground. There's too much weight went to the front, um, or or vice versa. Um, so Alex got a pretty decent uh, low bar squat. It's a um, got to, he's a good subject to um, use to show you uh, how to low bar correctly. It's just a short video today, just to give you a little um, idea on how to. Uh, do this correctly and uh, we've got another video coming for a high bar back sport okay three to one